Alrighty, let's play this in full first. We've got three shots. That one, and then that. Alright. I think what would be helpful just right off the bat, especially with these two, if we had any, you know, even if it's like columns or something or some set design, just so we know that it's only her. And there's no camera move. It doesn't seem to be. I'm seeing some of the banding there where I don't see any movement. You can see the cut here. I don't think there's any camera movement. Also, according to her email, I don't think I don't think there is anything. That but just in case, because there's some some issues I have with the arc there. But again, the Koopy camera thing, just double check. I mean double check. Let me know if there's a camera thing. This is kind of neat. I like the kind of relaxed pose, it's very clean. The only thing I would say is a bit of a... I would really stabilize that hand on that ball. See how much that ball goes up and down. A little bit of sliding there. So if you're already... You know, you're leaning on this, but you're also leaning that elbow on this here. So I will make that contact fairly solid. It would also be neat to almost have a little bit of an indentation there. Like a little dent feeling that little squish. So that is really leaning on there. This is super picky, but it's mostly the contact. I'm not sure you need that much waving in the fingers. And I would probably rotate that hand away from us so that, you know, it's maybe only like this. You have a bit of a curvature in the fingers. So it's not so flat towards us. It almost feels a bit too exaggerated. Curved towards us there. A bit too flat. Giving us that angle. Kind of nice to, to give it a bit of a nicer flow to that pose there. I think that's okay. You're fairly close, but it gives us still some some negative space. But then I would almost keep this a bit, a bit higher. See how when that ball drops down, it's a bit harsh and it stopped. Not that it's a linear key, but I think given the flowiness of everything and, you know, you have a nice S curve and everything, you can extend that feeling to the ball just being softer and it's in its up and down. That's mostly that. It's fairly relaxed. If I could picky, it feels like a little bit of a disconnect between the chest and the pelvis area and how far down this goes. It almost feels like there's a slight stretch. Just watch out for that, that it doesn't feel too disconnected. So you can push this. Just to, you know, when you, when you scrub, you can kind of see how it's a lot of movement down in this whole structure. But then this here just feels... You're just staying put if you go this far down like that then you would have a little bit of a rotation down and then you can always counter with the head here I think that might help this one there are a couple of things about this it's a bit i mean despite the offset the asymmetry which i like it's just a bit straight it could be interesting since you are going forward like that to have a potentially Bit of an S curve there. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, crazy in terms of like that, but it could be interesting to kind of push the overall pose just a bit more. And then when you do something like this up and down, it's a bit too straight. If I bring in some onion skinning, you can see how straight that line is. Be, since she is controlling this, you know, you can have a little bit of a, a little bit of an arc. Little, flourish in there would be kind of nice same thing with her hand like this seems like an ike arm going straight down going straight up with a bit of a big flip in that elbow almost a little pop almost that's a big linear key there from here to here and so even that hands could have a bit of a down a bit of a flow to it and i think that's kind of the overall note on this and just watch out just because i'm framing through this I will bring in that arm, if you would keep this, bring that arm higher so that it's not so close to the thigh there. Just having a nicer, cleaner silhouette. But there's something about giving her, even on this, it feels like she just goes fairly straight down. I know she's moving to the left, but it just feels a bit stiff and now she goes down. And then it feels more like something is pulling her forward without like a, a nice little, like a little flow in this where she would potentially you know if she's leading like this she could then 
lean forward and maybe even have that hand up there to then go in a flow like that and then potentially even this feels a bit stiff through there kind of lean that forward and you can even have a bit of a lean lean the neck head forward shoulder up and really oh, reach forward into just a, a stronger either with an s curve or just a line like that into that pose but even then when you when you then go out i would then bring that arm back which then brings the body back but then the legs the legs could still be trailing so that it's not that magical floats this is what i was wondering is this in the camera or is this a bit of a weird translate so imagine all that forward momentum those legs will continue so that when she goes back it's more of like this she goes back with the body and the, and the legs would still be there. Just a bit of a... Just a strange, stiff move to go back like this. While the, the legs just kind of go back and then suddenly go to the left again. This just doesn't feel quite right. So to me it would be... Legs continue, the body can go back. And then you can do this. And then again it would... The, the legs could still trail. And then when this stops, then the legs shoot forward again. It might be too much back and forth constantly, but I would just think in terms of, like imagine you have a NURBS curve as a as a path in your actual 3D scene, and you're you're having your character follow that path. So, just so you don't have those sudden translates where everything is moving without any drag, where it's kind of crabbing through the scene. That's the biggest thing I have through there. And then watch out how you end. Kind of comes to that stop in a couple of frames of nothing and then that's it so i would go there and cut maybe a bit sooner or have a longer settle that's not too bad but even this feels just a bit stiff just how that leg comes up and then that's it in terms of stomp push off into that it's nice how she then uses that leg to come forward has a nice compression bit of recovery. It's a bit poppy at the end there. That watch out, that leg is a bit of a pop. And then again, comes kind of an ease in to stop versus up and drop. Certain smoothness missing, but this goes back into just the pose could just be a bit more dynamic. I mean, who's to say that you don't go lower with her where she could even have potential bends. And then she leads with the upper body and then, you know, then whoa, you have a further lead back. Then the legs are there into just an overall stronger C curve. Even through this, so it's not that as your shape. Visually, it's a bit harsh, but you can continue in a, in a stronger, even if you overlap the legs, you could still have an overall C curve through there into that. All right, that's kind of that. Hope it helps. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.